Good morning, everybody, from Sydney on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. We're headed south down from Sydney towards Victoria. We have to deliver our freight that we picked up in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's been a fun trip here. It's time to get rid of this freight and go find some new stuff. Head back east. Here at the site. I'm gonna get the straps off of here and we're gonna get unloaded. This guy's got a truck with my dad's. All arrived in one piece, well, in multiple pieces, but all arrived as it should have. No damage. This is a very tight job site. There is not enough room for a lot of stuff in here. But there we go. There's my freight. It's been delivered. And now I've got to back out into traffic. They're going to do traffic control for me though, thankfully, so it shouldn't be too difficult. We'll, uh, at least hopefully not. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Back to the boat I go. Back on the boat, Trevor Dog. Go back where you came from. 200 meters, turn left on. Stonebridge Drive and then slide left at 60 meters.
22. Wait, 13 to 29 is this way, 22. Of 200 meters, go straight on Patricia Bay Highway, Highway 17 and then approaching destination in 40 meters. 22. 22. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna go around here. I'm gonna wait for these people to cross. see there's a boat arriving right there so maybe we'll get onto that boat I think is that the same one we were on on the way here not sure oh there's another guy arriving right here too see right behind that there's that guy's arriving here too we might be getting on the boat See, this is the boat that just docked, so. Let's see, are they gonna wave me in?
shades off and put my clear lookers on. See what I'm doing. I put my hat on. It's gonna be bright on the deck. I just don't want to carry two pairs of glasses around. I don't have my clip-ons with me. I'll leave those in my pickup truck because I already have three pairs of glasses in the truck here. I got these, then I got my working glasses, and then I got my shades. They're all prescription. Ugh, let's get my shoes on here and uh, let's head up. experience I'm glad that I that I went here now I can say I've been to Vancouver Island and that's what I meant when uh, I was leaving on this trip when I said it's a place that I've been to I've been to British Columbia many many times but I've never actually been to Vancouver Island British Columbia there we go.
about to Chevron in Langley, BC. Hopefully there's a parking spot there for me. I still haven't heard anything, so we might be spending the night here. 300 meters, turn right on, 200 straight. I'm gonna give him a call. As soon as I stop. See if there's at least uh, direction, you know? Looks like the freight leaving BC is a little sparse or cheap. We don't want to haul cheap freight. There's plenty of companies here in BC that'll haul that cheap freight. Way too many of them. I'm not one of them. I wish people would stop hauling the freight for so cheap. I wish people would stop hauling the freight for so cheap. It really ruins it for the rest of us. If you just refuse to haul that cheap stuff, they'll be forced to raise their rates. On. 200, one street and then approaching destination on the left side. In uh, there's meters. always somebody ready to gobble it up, right? In 200 meters, turn left on. 200, one street and then approaching destination on the left side. Here it is on the left. a spot there for me. Yep, I think so. Oh, it's authorized parking only now? What? Parking rules. Oh, they have changed this. Okay, well. Figures. I back myself in here and go figure out if it's paid parking or what. Would not be surprised if they changed it to paid. Check out this Super B skill. He's had it in the spot perfect three times already, but he keeps pulling forward to straighten out just a little bit more. So I respect him. He's just like me. It has to be perfect. Let me pull you out of there. Oh, I'll get you off my mount. He's backing in beside me to the last spot. Doing a good job. I think he's got it this time. I think he's got it. Got a nice truck. Is he gonna pull it? Is he gonna pull the brakes? I think he's got it. I'd be happy with that. That's a, that's saying a lot. Yep, he did it. Man, I got a lot of respect for you guys who pull Super Bs. You gotta back those things up all over the place. I have a little bit of experience, like a couple of tr local trips with Super Bs. I've never pulled Super Bs long haul. So that two, the two trailers like that. It's, it's tough to learn how to back them up, but the guys who do it all the time are really good at it. And I'm always very impressed with how they can maneuver those things backwards. It's, it's crazy. I haven't moved. It looks like I'm not going to move until tomorrow. So that's okay. Something better will come tomorrow. You don't want to take something cheap and get moving today. Tomorrow will be a better day. So today we got unloaded in Victoria on Vancouver Island. Took the ferry back across here. Came to Langley. Got a spot at this very small truck stop. Lucky I got a spot here. And uh, hopefully tomorrow morning we'll have something for us to pick up. Tomorrow is Friday, so it's the last day of the week. I gotta figure out what I'm doing tomorrow because uh, if I don't got a load to pick up around here tomorrow, that means I'm probably gonna be uh, heading out of here, either down to Washington State to pick up something there to bring back to Canada, 
or uh, oh, worst case scenario, they'd send me out to Alberta, like to Calgary or Edmonton. That's a long way to go empty though. It better be some pretty, pretty shiny nickels for me to go that far empty. But you know, at the same time, you can't just sit around here forever. I'm sure they'll come up with something. They always do. They always do. And they uh, they talked to me before I parked today, and I knew that I would be uploading tomorrow. So this isn't like a surprise. They didn't leave me hanging here. They didn't just you know <laughs> forget about me. I knew that because I got back to the mainland later in the afternoon or like in the afternoon is likely that we'll get loaded tomorrow. But there will be something. There always is. They never leave me waiting. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna go for my walk this afternoon enjoy myself beautiful weather here so uh hope you guys are having a great day get out there be active uh get your hearts pumping get your legs moving it's very important if you want to live longer it's very important i want to live longer i'm not the healthiest guy out there i still eat my junk food i love pizza love sugar i know i shouldn't but at least i'm getting my legs moving right it's a start and get this i've gotten to the point now that three miles of walking every day my body doesn't even realize it so the next day i wake up feel perfectly normal perfectly fine my feet aren't sore anymore my knees aren't sore anymore my back's not sore and i don't wake up exhausted so you know what that means my body's gotten used to walking three miles every day i've got to start adding some jogging in there or i guess i could extend it to four miles but that takes more time i only want a lot an hour per day for my workout because time is valuable I, I don't have a lot of it so within an hour so I think we're gonna start jogging for a quarter mile so we'll walk for like a mile get ourselves warmed up jog for a quarter mile and then walk the rest we'll do that for a week see how my body likes that and if that's easy for me I'll add an extra quarter mile in there I'll jog for half a mile in there in the middle we'll, we'll keep bumping it up until I'm uh, well you gotta warm up right so We'll keep bumping it up until I'm jogging the majority of the three miles or the majority of the hour. I could always, uh, you know, walk for half a mile first and then jog three miles. I could add that in there later. We'll see uh, how my body reacts as we as we go. I'm not a professional professional athlete or workout person. I'm just a regular guy. I'm just trying to do a little something better. I'm not trying to be peak performance, peak muscle. I just want to. I just want to move. I just want to keep my body moving. I don't want it to get used to sitting. I've been a truck driver for 17 years now, and I want to continue to be a truck driver for like another 30 years yet. And if I sit for a total of 47 years of my life without moving, I'm not going to make it as long as I want to. <laughs> I want to live long. I want to see what happens. I want to see my kids grow up. I want to see my grandkids. I want to see my grandkids have kids. I want to do things. I want to see the world. I want to go see Europe and Australia. I want to see places, go places. That means I got to keep myself moving at the bare, at least, right? So thanks for watching today. I've been babbling again. We'll be right here tomorrow. Drive safe out there. Leave a comment down below if you want to help out the channel. If you want to take it one step further, you can become a member and get early access to my videos. Just click the join now button at the bottom of my videos. The cost of a cup of Starbucks per month and you get, uh, uh, early access to all the videos as soon as they're uploaded. Sometimes there's like uh, like after I, I'm done editing this video There's gonna be six videos early up there for the members and then I release them one per day on my channel uh, So it spreads them out a little bit, but hey if you're hardcore and you really like my videos You want to watch them all at once. That's how you can do it. You gotta be a premium member I'll talk to you later everybody Take care <laughs>